Now to deleting references. Again, due to all the coding that's in the references, it's best not to just delete the references from your paragraphs using your backspace or delete keys, because this won't necessarily delete all of the coding that's behind them. Instead, we want to use the edit and manage citations options. So to do this, we need to select the um, citation we want to remove. So I've just placed my cursor within it, come up to the EndNote toolbar and select edit and manage citations. This will open your edit and manage citations window. And this window displays all of the um, citations or references that have been added into your document. It should have selected or highlighted the reference that you selected in the document, but always just best to double check um, that you have the correct one selected. Then we come over to the edit reference option use the drop down and select to remove the citation. That's now gone from the edit and manage citations window. And if I click OK, it will return to the document and we can see it's removed that citation from the in-text citation. And because that was the only use of that reference within my document, it has also been removed from my reference list. If you want or need to add page numbers to your in-text citations, you can. And again, we use the edit and manage citations options. So once more, I'll select my reference, go up to the toolbar and select edit and manage citations, confirm the, uh, the reference I need or the citation I need is selected. Then we come down to the second half of this window on the edit citation tab, and we have the prefix, suffix and pages fields. So to add a page number, we simply put the page number into the pages field and click OK. And we can see my in-text citation has been updated. EndNote has added the appropriate punctuation for me and included the page number that I added. If this needs to be a span of pages, we can include that as well. Again, just select your citation, edit and manage. And then if it's a span, I can put that in and we'll see it's now updated to include the appropriate abbreviation for pages and kept the numbers I've included. If you find a mistake in one of your references after you have added it to your Word document, typing over that citation won't create a permanent fix. So to ensure that your changes stick or that they're permanent changes, we need to make any updates back in your EndNote library, save those changes and then return to the Word document and update them. So let's have a look at that process. So let's say I had misspelled um, one of my author names in this first citation. So I'll go back to my EndNote program, select the reference from my all references list. In the right hand panel, select the edit tab, go in and type over or correct any changes, save those changes, and then return to my Word document. At this point, it hasn't updated those changes, so it's still reflecting the previous spelling. So I come up to the toolbar, select Update Citations and Bibliography, and we can see that's corrected the spelling in both the in-text citation and in the reference list.